So you make a video on BTS. All right. Okay. It's uh yeah, the Korean boy band. I don't really know them, but but you tell me. I don't really know them either. They're just this like super popular Korean boy band. Okay. So recent, or I don't know how recent it was, if it was like a couple of months or even like a year ago, but they said that they were going to break up and do individual projects. All right. Okay. And they're like crying because for the past however many years, they've basically been controlled by this company or their record. Yeah, I looked at, uh, I looked at the Wikipedia entry that that's pretty obvious. Yeah. And then in your video, you just predict that they'll fail. All right. Because, so first of all, like m most of the time, just in this situation, people fail, right? When there's a band and then they break up. Yeah. yeah. Like whatever the Beatles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, even that's so like what I remember. Like yeah, exactly. No, time. that's what I was thinking of too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Where they they go for their individual projects, they might have like some right. like small success, right? Or what's this? Justin Timberlake? He was in a boy band too. I don't right. remember which one. Like In Sync or something like this. And then I think they all did individual projects. He became popular, but no one else. Right. Right. So um, probably part of the reason, I don't know, but like my guess is part of the reason, and this is certainly true, uh, at least in the Beatles, part of the reason they fail is because they start to actually believe the authenticity rhetoric that they discuss when they say why they're going to do individual projects. Right. And the audience is in love with their profile. Right. Not so of course the profile Obviously in the case with the K pop stuff. Yeah, but also the Beatles, right? Like yeah. is their profile that people were right. interested in. And their profile I mean some of these K pop the Beatles was a boy band too, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And yeah, and it's all, all, I mean like one way you can talk about it obviously is that the profile changes, which of course is true. Right. So like it could just be that the new profile isn't that popular. But for example, like with the Beatles, Beatles, right, it was pretty obvious that like taking their authenticity too seriously. Right. right like led to them not being as popular. Right. Because it, they were no longer. Yeah. Sort of the students. So the video will be about prediction on BTS or BSD. Yeah. BTS. They're going to fail. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like Philosopher predicts the failure of BTS. Right. Yes. Yes. That's the title. Right. Philosopher predicts the failure of BTS. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, you just, you know, you talk about the Beatles, you talk about like in whatever the boy band is that Justin Timberlake is from, right? Like, yeah. Maybe I, mean, I get across as like, too old if I talk too much about the Beatles. No, I think it's no, I think it's fine. Okay. Um, no, it comes across maybe if I Beatles talk a lot about a the Beatles, people. it comes across as more authentic. It is more authentic. No, you should talk about the Beatles because you know about it and because it's well, such a good example. Well, and it's true. such a good example, right? It, it is yes. a good example. It's a yeah. really good example. The Beatles, like, we know that they all tried their projects and they all sort of, like, failed and blah, blah, blah. But with other bands, like, I don't know. I have no fucking clue. Like, I know that uh, uh, apparently they did. You know what I mean? But, like, no one really knows about them. So, I don't know. I, but anyways, you, you're the one who decides this stuff. So not only is it a change of profile, which is usually bad, but especially if they really believe start to believe the authenticity rhetoric that they used when they said right. that they were breaking up, then right. that will definitely lead to their downfall. Yes. You um, nailed it. But yeah, I think you could predict that BTS will fail because maybe the members like buy into the authenticity rhetoric and then they, yeah, fans don't like it. Right. But anyways, it's, a, it's like, I mean, it's not a foolish, it depends on what the goals are, right? But it's like, they really want to pursue these authentic things. I mean, that's why the stuff that we, for me, I, what I really like about the stuff that we worked on too was like, you realize that there's these different spheres, right? Like there's spheres where profilicity dominates, there's spheres where authenticity dominates, there's spheres where uh, sincerity dominates. Right. I and, mean, then there's also the thing that authenticity in the service of profilicity, right? I mean, uh, to have like a really 
higher value profile, at some point in time, you want to make it authentic. Yeah, but I think for something like this, though, the you, you don't always have to make it more authentic, right? I mean, some like brands, for example, they don't always have to like uh, go for a cause or guarantee their authenticity. Um, some of them can just be this brand because it's this brand, right? So just like celebrities don't always have to validate why they're a celebrity, right? They can just be a, like a Kardashian can just be like a socialite. Um, so I think like with them, what they should realize is that if they want to be authentic or blah, 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 like their success is due to their profile. If they want to be more authentic or more, you know what I mean? More whatever, they should do that in a different sphere. And I don't know why they're so bothered by the fact like, as if, if they were authentic the whole time, people would have loved them the same. They wouldn't. They're in love with their profile, right? They should be on their knees thanking that company, not complaining right. that they're not allowed to be who they really are. I mean, right. the company is who made them. They're convinced, right, that people are really in love with who they are. And then they say, I've never displayed who I am, right, because the company tells me every move that I make. Yes. Well, the people aren't in love with anything but every move that you make. Right. Right. The clothes that you wear, the songs that you sing. And if the company decided that, then the company is who the people are in love with. Right. The, the, well, the company's profile that you perform. Right. So like they have this wrong idea, probably. Right. That people are in love with them. And then they have to don this false mask. Right. That the company makes them put on. And if they didn't put that on, they could really be themselves and people would love them just as much, if not more. Right. And that's why you can pretty much guarantee their failure. Right. That sounds totally convincing to me. Yeah. So don't use this video. Just make your own video. <laughs> it says it in big letters on the top that you're recording. <laughs> PewDiePie was popular. You should do it in the same tone, too, I think. The PewDiePie one. Yeah. I like that one. No, I'm, I'm going to post, if it's if the recording turns out good, I'm just going to post this one. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So the problem will be, what, what, do, I, what do I do if then they're, they're, there will all be all these comments and they're asking, we want to see more of Paul on this channel. <laughs> and you say, that's already quite a lot of Paul. He's, there's never <laughs> been that much Paul before. Right. Started working out, feeling better. Yeah, you, you look better too. Yeah. Let me stop the recording. Stop recording. <laughs> <laughs>